Hi guys, uh, in this quick video uh, I'll go through the process of setting up the iBus system on the new Volvo B9TL right at the tip Gemini. I've been getting a lot of comments on the South London project page and the YouTube videos asking how to do this so hopefully this quick video will help you with that process. So the first thing that you need to do is set up the ticket machine as normal so if you're using the default keyboard layout you haven't particularly changed any of the settings this should apply for you otherwise you'll need to go by if you've made changes then obviously you'll need to go by the settings that you've made so first thing to do is set up the route and the destination so if we switch our power on and then if you press control the plus sign and asterisk on the num section of your keyboard and enter 00300 and press enter and same again control plus forward slash and this is where you enter the root variation so for example we can enter 01 and for the South London project that sets the destination as Kennington Lane um, now on the Volvo the next thing you need to do is go up to the iBus screen in the cab you'll see this sort of little clipboard checklist looking button if you click on that all of these destinations come from the HOF file within the setup it's important that when you pick your bus that you click on the South London project B9TL because that has all the destinations uh, relevant to the map so at the minute we're in the beta stage still so the most uh, relevant destinations for us are going to be those for Route 3. Now, for example, if we say that we're going to Kennington, so we're at Crystal Palace at the moment, we just click, literally go to in line with the destination and click the button that's in line with that. And that's all you need to do. You can then return home. So now if I open the door, you'll notice the destination screen changes and you hear the announcement. Now, some of you might be getting to this stage with no issues at all. With this Volvo B9, in order to trigger the announcements, they work off your timetable. So firstly, it's important to make sure that you've got your timetable set up correctly. So if we just pick this one as an example. And then, as we start to pull off, thing that not everyone might be aware of is that the first announcement isn't automatically triggered so we've just dri driven through a bus we'll ignore that for now so in order to trigger the announcements you first need to press the Q key on the first one so from starting at Crystal Palace end of the route it'll trigger the Crystal Palace parade announcement if I do that now Crystal Palace you hear the announcement now as I continue past this stop what you'll notice is that as the timetable changes, the announcement plays without me clicking anything. Crystal Palace Parade, College Road. And there you go, you can hear that it's automatically been triggered. And again, if I now pull up to this stop, I just realised I'm driving without the lights on, but we'll forget about that. And if I stop and open my door, you'll hear the route now announcement automatically triggers again. Perfect. So hopefully that helps with any of the issues or the queries that you guys have, are having with regards to setting up the iBus system. If you do have any additional comments, uh, questions, queries, leave a comment and where I can I'll reply to them. But just make sure please that you do try and give as much detail as possible so that we can help try and troubleshoot.